Hey guys, welcome back to another Body Bags Review, and uh, I'm Critter Buster, and today I am taking a look at um, a werewolf movie, this is werewolf theme, uh, I'm taking a look, look at Wolfen, uh, I'm sorry for the glare here, uh, this one is I believe a Warner Brothers title, and I'd never seen this movie before so I didn't really know what to expect from this, um, from the title of it and the, and the cover art and stuff you expect a werewolf movie. Um, but the, the movie is a, it's a very simple plot. All it is, is the second that the movie starts, it, there's a bunch of, there's like three different type of, um, point of view type kills from an animal perspective. And you're led to believe that it's a werewolf attacking people. And, uh, then it starts off with a detective who is investigating these murders. And, um, they're, at first they're trying to pinpoint it on some, uh, some criminals around town. But the, the detective is a little weary, so he goes to one of his friends, uh, and they find a, um, a wolf hair on several of the bodies. So he starts investigating on possibilities of maybe there is something out there that's not human. And um, basically they take a, uh, a look at the Indian tribe that's a local Indian tribe or whatever, and he tells them that they're shapeshifters and that they are the ones going around protecting their land. And so he starts thinking that um, these people are pretty much going to be, you know, turning into to wolves and killing people. So he starts following them around, doesn't lead them anywhere, um, leads them to a, a church uh, where he hears um, some strange noises coming from the church. So he's going to go, him and one of his partners are going to go and they're going to look at the church for, with uh, some cameras and stuff like that. And his, uh, his, his partner gets killed. Um, and by doing so, he actually sees one of the wolf attack him. Um, so then he pretty much knows by fact now that it is a wolf that's doing the job and not a criminal. And uh, basically from that point on, it's he, he goes back to the, um, the tribe and they explain to him that, well, it's not really shapeshifters, it is actual wolves, and they're called wolfen. And basically, it is a wolf that is that the entire wolf tribe or whatever existed thousands of years ago, um, and back whenever like the Indian tribes and stuff were being run out, so was the wolves, and the wolves went and hid underground, and they are now reemerging because there is plans to um, tear down some of the buildings where the where the wolves were staying at so that they could build like some mall structure or something. So now the wolves have come out of hiding and they're killing the people that are uh, responsible for, for the job. Um, so it's a really odd story. I didn't, that's the only thing I didn't really care for was that that backstory was a little off. Um, but the movie itself was a little bit slow, but it wasn't boring. It was, uh, it was about two hours long and I was invested in the entire movie even though there wasn't hardly any deaths in it, uh, maybe like four. Uh, or f maybe maybe even five, but the first the first three are at the very beginning of the movie, um, and so this isn't a werewolf movie. Um, I thought that it was a werewolf movie, but it is not technically a werewolf film. It is a wolf killer wolf movie. Um, I guess you can pretty much put it in the same genre, but um, basically these are just wolves. Nobody transforms into any wolf at any time during the movie. Um, there's no werewolf scenes, there's no transformations of any sorts, it's just wolves. And, uh, the only thing that makes it kind of weird is, at the end of the movie, um, the guy pretty much shows the wolves that he's not there to hurt the wolves, and he destroys the, um, prototype of the building structures and everything that's in the building, uh, to show them that they're not gonna continue working on it anymore. And that makes the wolves go away. But they don't just, like, run away they just kind of like fade out from dis like they just disappear, and that's the weird thing. Is like okay, maybe it really was a shapeshifter, or a shapeshifting creature, or another sort, and not just a regular wolf. And who who knows what it is? I don't really know exactly what they were trying to go with with this movie. But it wasn't a werewolf movie. It was just a killer wolf movie. Um, but if you like those type, it's made in the structure of a werewolf movie. Um, so if you like the structure of werewolf films, especially ones from you know, I think this is like eighty one. Um, check it out. It's, it's definitely a well-made movie, um, and it's enjoyable, but like I said, it's not a werewolf movie, um, which is kind of weird that I chose this for werewolf week, but it's still made like a werewolf movie, and it's led to believe it could be a werewolf movie because of that right there, but, 
all in all, it was a decent movie. I would recommend it, um, specifically if you like those types of movies. Um, so thanks guys for watching and I'll be back next week for another, uh, review. See ya.